Okay, guys, so I have access to O3 inside OpenAI. Rue code has already added it, Klein hasn't, so shout out to Rue code. I can't do my exact benchmark because I normally use Klein. However, it should be pretty much the same experience if I just use Rue code on the normal mode, not on boomerang mode. So I'm considering this to be a benchmark test for O3 by OpenAI. Let's find out if it's actually on par with Anthropic Sonnet 3.7 and Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is what everybody's saying. But by the end of this video, we will know if that's actually true or whether it's just bullshit. Now I'll be using my school community in order to get the SOP as usual. Feel free to check it out. It'll be the first link in the description. I'm basically just trying to put all of my knowledge and also other people's knowledge into a course written system. So in this course on school, I'll also leave this prompt in the description of the video completely for free as well. Um, but I have this SOP right here. So the first part of the SOP is open Visual Studio Code, go to terminal, new terminal, create a new Next.js app. In this case, we're going to call it 03 Rolls Royce with a Z, just because I already made an 03 Rolls Royce with an S yesterday when I was trying to test this model, but it wasn't really working, so I gave up. So we're gonna be using Rue code for this. I believe I should put this on architect mode to start with, which is pretty much the same as ask mode for the planning of this project. And then I'll, I think I don't even have to put it on code mode. I think it should do it automatically. So the way this works is basically, I need to put some images into a public folder so we'll do that now. So let's open this folder, look for 03, look for the one with the Z. One thing that I really don't like about augment code is that it just opens automatically. It really is starting to piss me off. If you are the owner of augment code and you see this, change this immediately because people are literally going to uninstall your app just because it's so annoying that it does that. Okay, so then once we're in here, we'll make a public folder and then inside that we will make an images folder and then we'll control V to paste, right? And the way this benchmark's work, benchmark works is basically we want to see how good of a one shot this new model can do and whether it's on par with other SOTA models. This is not going to be a video where I just claim that it is better than without giving my actual opinion and doing my own benchmarks that's just not... The, the, there's a little bit more than just saying how many hours are there in strawberry. It's can you one shot an entire Next.js website for me with very specific requirements and without any errors. So we'll hit enter here on this. This is architect on Rue code. This is the first time I've done this on Rue code instead of Klein. If you don't know, Rue code is based on Klein. This should more or less be the same thing here. So I like that it's starting off by reading the code. This is something that a lot of models don't do. It shouldn't be necessary because it's a vanilla JavaScript template, but it shows a level of intelligence that it says, okay, so we're inside an XJS project. What if it's what if it's got different what if it's got a different setup to what we were expecting, right? In which case they do actually need to read the model, or sorry, read the code and understand whether all of the files like nextconfig, etc., are all exactly the same, or if it's different. So I'm just gonna say use uh, placeholder information uh, and give me an entire design palette according to your own discretion. So this is something else that a lot of intelligent models uh, do. They realize that there's no uh, contact details. So I've asked them to make a contact page. How are they supposed to make a contact page without contact details? So again, shows intelligence for sure. This is extremely expensive. Um, I actually don't know the pricing. I didn't actually look at the pricing. So open AI pricing. This looks like it might be 75 output, $75 for output. Is that what we're dealing with? Our API, where's 03? Uh, 40, yeah, it's hella expensive. But I mean, if it does it and it, the thing is, right, if, if something can one-shot this, even if it's more expensive, it, you'll save money overall because you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours messing around. 
Now, one thing I will say is I think this is getting an advantage of using Rue code architect mode, I think. I would like to do this again on Klein, um, just to make sure. But this looks pretty good, to be honest with you. So let's just say, um, let's just say let's looks perfect, proceed to implementation. So people tell me that it should now change to code mode automatically without me doing anything. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that about RuCode, I must admit. Um, that kind of makes me want to use RuCode over Klein a little bit more without boomerang mode, just with its normal mode. I like that it does that. And I also like the fact that if it now has to ask further qualifying questions, it can without kind of messing everything up. So we'll see how this does. I'll give this, you know, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, um, see how far it gets. One thing I do want to see is whether it just stops after like five minutes and says, I'm done, um, when it's really not done. What we're looking for in this benchmark, if I just show you what 3.7 Sonic came out with, this is pretty much what 3.7 Sonic came out with. This is the best um, that I've ever seen. I would say Gemini 2.5 Pro was close to this, pretty much the same. Um, so I, th I think the way they're trained or the knowledge they have is all the same, like all three of the main SOTA models. It's almost like the source material is the same that they're working on from the beginning, which I believe is true because I think they're just based on scraping the entire internet. Like there has to be a reason why every single model chooses the play right font, right, for this task. Literally every single model I've never seen, oh, sorry, Playfair. I've never seen a, a good intelligent model not use Playfair display. So there's obviously like a lot of detail on the internet about Playfair display being like a luxury font or whatever. And all of these models have all read that same thing. But the, the stupider models, it's like they haven't read as much of the internet and they don't use Playfair. So this is, it, it's interesting. You can kind of tell almost instantly that this is going to be a decent uh, model because it has, uh, it, it chose the Playfair um, font, right? Another interesting thing is this has good um, comments for sure. Okay, so the model is saying it's done. I'm a little bit worried about this, I'm not gonna lie. It seems very, very light on, on content. Let's see if it even works. Okay, so it compiled. Okay, straight to a, straight to the Next.js uh, app thing. Perfect, so, so far not so good. I'm just going to say uh, this is still just the vanilla home page for the um, for a Next.js app. Please ensure to make the app fully production ready as I'm launching now. So this is quite common in the benchmark. Um, it's disappointing that a model like O3 does this, but Sonic does this sometimes, Gemini does this sometimes. You do often need to have a second prompt that says, Okay, that's cool. Well done for doing nothing. Can you now actually make the app production ready, right? So I, I haven't lost all hope just yet. It could be one prompt away, which is this prompt here, from being completely ready. Okay, so now what it's done is it's got itself stuck in a 307 loop. This is very disappointing. This is, um, this is not how this is supposed to go down. So this is what a lot of very, very stupid models do. Now this could just be because it's not optimized yet for coding within Rue, right? They have to make each model work with their prompts. Sometimes models react differently to different to, to the same prompt. So for example, I'll give you a good example of this, right? This is this I'm not I'm not trying to cope here, all right? But let me just explain something just so you guys understand why this might be happening. I'm not saying this is why it's happening, but when Sonic 3.7 was released, obviously the first thing I did was put it inside my SAS harbor. And although it was a better model, it was actually um, using a lot of placeholder, um, like w within like asterisks saying like, uh, finish content here or stuff like that. And that was being published to people's live articles simply because I made the assumption that because Sonic 3.7 was a better model, it would just automatically work better with my prompts, right? And I'm sure this is what's happening with Rue here as well. So 
the the developer of Rue had to get this in as quickly as possible because people were I, I even text them saying please put this in I want to make a video uh, shout out to Rue for putting it in but this is likely what happened it was rushed because you know he needed to get it in ASAP it wasn't fully tested with their prompts and um, it it doesn't quite work for some reason like maybe it's using placeholder code or so let's just say proceed anyway here it seems to be getting a little bit confused now like I said this could be because it's not passing information on that it should be right to the next prompt we, we don't know exactly why it could just be that it's a shit model but we'll see we'll see if we can just get it to work quickly and then we'll give it a little look at what it looks like okay so this is what we have got now it's missing a header so that's definitely not great I mean this looks good these these images to be fair they were changed on um, on the Claw 3.7 version of this. Let's just have a look at how, yeah, so 404. -ing. Like, why can't this just be good so I can put OpenAI cooked in the fucking title of the video? This is so annoying. This is not good at all, I'm not going to lie. Um, actually, 404 um, Mini, Jesus, this naming convention is getting crazy. 04 Mini did a better job. Yeah, I'm not impressed, really, to be honest with you. Both 03 and 04 are um, worse than I was expecting. At least 04, its technical implementation was perfect. 03 hasn't even... Oh, my God. It's, it's really a mess. I think it might be happening because of the slashy end. If I just remove this, does this work? Right. Perfect. Yeah, I'm disappointed, guys. The, I, honestly, I was hoping this would be really, really good. I wanted to hype it. I can't hype it. It's not good. Like, there's nothing good about this. Now, like I said, it might be because of this. It's possible that it's not passing on information that it needs to pass on to the next prompt. This happens. Like, it could be using placeholder code where previously other models weren't using placeholder code, or it could just be a bad model, right? The cost $6.50. I basically just wasted $6.50 on an unusable website that even... GPT-4.1 would output better content. But yeah, I'll leave the video there, guys. Let's just make sure that we are using O3. Yeah, we are using O3. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. I'm a little bit disappointed by this, I'm not going to lie. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.